today on 15 on 15. We will explain why TNO's innovation for life is saving the Latin American region. Plus, check out Dorothy and Ruby who can save you from a bad date. Also, young Aruban professional living in Holland sees work opportunity in Aruba due to the sustainability vision. Thanks for joining us. I'm Yantolu. During the Green Aruba Where Europe Meets the Americas conference, it was revealed that an international research concluded Latin America does not have vision and lacks innovation. TNO, an institute that thrives on innovation and who is a partner of the conference, says this is where they come in to aid the region. TNO's mantra is innovation for life. Studies have found the Latin American region is actually in need of this quality to prosper. Recent reports of the World Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank have concluded that Latin American firms lack innovation. As a result, the region job creation stays behind and economic growth is slow. These reports identify as key reasons the quality of education and an overall culture that avoids risk-taking. In addition, bureaucracy and poor logistics create barriers for innovation as well. This video was shown at the Green Aruba Where Europe Meets America's conference in an effort to showcase what TNO embodies. According to Jan Willa Kelder, the chairman of the TNO Council for Defense Research, he does not see Latin America lacking innovation a problem since they have the solution. He explains why TNO decided to get involved in the area. TNO sees this as a market opportunity. And this is an important reason why we have decided uh, to become action in this region. We believe the region will recognize the need to innovate in order to sustain and build on the economic gains it made over the recent decade. To achieve this, the region has to develop its own ecosystem of research, businesses and government partnerships. We believe the TNO is well positioned to contribute to this. For the local aspiring filmmakers out there, you may want to take note on a few upcoming production workshops. Francisco Pardo has written, produced and directed a few films. His work has garnered him several awards, locally as well as internationally. His artistic drive has sparked demand from the community for him to instruct a few workshops. He will be conducting three in total. The first will focus on teaching filmmakers how to work with the material they have. The, the production workshop, you will learn how to produce your film with the um, available resources that we have in Aruba. Because we know that uh, we don't have the necessary resources, like for example, facility that renting cameras, and lighting equipment, uh, post-production facility, and um, so we um, plan this workshop so people that actually um, want to know how to make it happen can still make it happen with the available resources. Script writing for films will be the second workshop, which is more technical. The third workshop is all about directing. Francisco says he is hoping these workshops will encourage and mold talented local filmmakers. This workshop is designed um, to help people to, um, to, um, to make it happen even that there is not enough resources to, to do it creatively and to improve their, their craft. And um, it's important for Aruba because it also elevates the, the quality uh, um, films. Ah, você é aquele esse birunhão com manduxi, ah? Tá rendo uma rosa, tu traiu bonita. <laughs> To find out the dates, costs, and any additional information regarding the workshops, go to www.audiovisualinstitute.com.
Before we go on break, be sure to join us on Monday night starting at 7.15 p.m. as we take you on a visit to the fire department. We go inside the fire department and speak with the captain of the team to see how the operations go down. From an emergency call time to arrival time, what is the spec? We will have all those details. Find out how your community firefighters operate when an emergency arises. Catch the action and the story on 15 on 15, Monday night, October 27th on ATV Channel 15. And on that note, we will be right back. Stay with us. When we return, find out why it is better to work out with music. Thank you for staying tuned to 15 on 15. Let's say you are on a bad date or a shady date. You are hoping a phone call will come in so you can fake an emergency because you can't just get up and leave since that would be offensive. Cue in Dorothy, the latest prototype in a wearable technology. Meet Dorothy, the latest development in wearable tech. It connects your phone to your shoe. An app allows you to sync with Ruby, which is a small microcontroller powered by a light blue beam. If you are going on a first date, select Receive a Call with the app to create a fake contact and slip the Ruby in your shoe. If things get unbearable, click your shoe three times. Your phone will then ring and you can fake your emergency and exit. If you want to tell your friends your exact location, that is also possible by clicking three times with Ruby. Founders are working to ensure that Ruby has a sleek compact that can fasten into any shoe. There's more. Ruby can also summon a pizza delivery. The creators are working on all the possibilities with Ruby and Dorothy. The three heel tap is a movement homage to the Wizard of Oz film, hence the name Dorothy. The heel clicks are also subtle enough that it is likely to go unnoticed. And moving forward for those in relationships, you know that arguing with your partner is awful enough, but now new research suggests that hostile relationships could actually affect your fat metabolism, especially if you've ever dealt with depression. In the study, hostile partners who had symptoms or history of mood disorder burned an average of 31 fewer calories per hour, which could amount to up to 12 pound weight gain in a year. They also had higher insulin levels for up to two hours after the meal, which stimulates food intake and increases the likelihood of obesity, according to authors. The culprit here is stress. Researchers already know that elevated levels of stress hormones can also affect your heart rate, blood pressure, immune system, and even slow wound healing. It's no wonder stress slows down your fat metabolism as well. The idea here is that if your primary relationship is going badly, what should be your major source of support becomes your major source of stress. A hostile relationship could certainly affect health even among people who eat healthier meals. And I think it's safe to say most of us work out to music. Good thing too, because new research finds people who listen to music have the tendency to intensify their exercise. Listening to music is a big part of many people's workout sessions. A recent study published suggests that a great playlist can help get you through hardcore interval training, which is much harder than low-key endurance training and, as you might have guessed, delivers awesome results more efficiently. In a study, music didn't make the workout feel less difficult, but people actually worked out at a higher intensity when they listened to music. Subjects in the study said music made their workout more enjoyable. Researchers say that rhythm may physiologically prep your body to take on intervals and help distract you from the inevitable discomfort of sweating like a beast. Before you head out for a gym session or a run or whatever you do to keep fit, remember those headphones and that playlist. Let's take a very quick break. Here's what's coming up next. Prime Minister Mike Amen gives young Aruban professionals living in Holland a reason to return to Aruba. Since we are in the middle of the week of the Green Aruba where Europe meets America's conference, it's fitting to look back on the previous years. This year marks the fifth Green Aruba conference. Now after the second one, Prime Minister Mike Amen sat down with Dutch and Aruban young professionals in Holland to see what their thoughts are on this particular green vision. 
These young professionals experienced the second Green Aruba conference firsthand a few years ago. They studied and now work within the sustainability and engineering field. The young Aruban professionals are proud to see what their island has been able to achieve with the conference. As about uh, the Green Conference, I was very happy to be there. Um, as an Arubian, uh, I was very glad to see what Aruba is doing. And uh, not only Aruba, but uh, not only um, uh, Aruba, but the community. And uh, they are working together and to, to achieve something. And um, they, they, they want to, I think, um, let them let the, the, the rest of the world know that uh, we are a small island, but uh, we can uh, we can achieve everything if we want to, and um, uh, we will be an example for the rest of the world. So I was very happy to be there. Young Aruban workers sees the sustainability movement as an opportunity to return to the island to contribute. I'm still in Holland because uh, it's it's a little bit difficult to get. Uh, a certain job for young professional and now I'm uh, really thinking about it uh, to come here pretty soon because I know that there is a lot of work to do on Aruba so uh, maybe this is the time for me as an Aruba to come back and serve my my island. Some of these young professionals sees the Green Aruba conference as a great networking and brainstorming platform for the community. They see the small business sector as an integral part of the sustainability goal. I've seen in the conference, it's about bringing people together mm -hmm. and, and changing ideas. So it has been said by all my colleagues, it's about community, collaboration, and um, uh, making Aruba sustainable is not only mm -hmm. about technology, it's about the people. And it's very important to involve, uh, obviously, government, uh, big businesses, but also small businesses. Many studies have shown that uh, it's the small businesses that create the most sustainable jobs. Um, so making Aruba sustainable is not just about energy, it's also about uh, having an Aruba that can uh, afford its energy 20 years from now. That is all the time we have for now. Thanks for watching. We'll be back here on Monday night at 7.15 p.m. right here on Channel 15 ATV with all the latest in lifestyle topics and all the latest on the island. So don't miss it. We'll see you then.